Hey guys, it's the Crazy Einstein, and today I'm going to be doing a review of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. Let's get to it. The first Assassin's Creed game I played was Assassin's Creed 2, where you play as Ezio Auditore as he goes on an adventure to avenge his deceased family members, whom were murdered by the Templar Order. This one is definitely my favorite because of its story, and the fact that during the game you can go in catacombs and solve puzzles to retrieve dead Assassin's medals. The next Assassin's Creed game I played was Assassin's Creed 3. I never really got into Brotherhood of Revelations, so I went from 2 to 3. Assassin's Creed 3 had a really cool premise. A half-white, half-Indian assassin named Connor, whose land is destroyed and taken by European settlers. The game was good, but it didn't really grasp me in the same way that Assassin's Creed 2 did. I guess it was because I find the Renaissance's history a lot more interesting, or that I don't have a single clue about indigenous culture or its people. But Assassin's Creed 3 did have one cool thing, and that was its naval combat missions. Since everyone seemed to like this, the game makers at Ubisoft decided to release Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, with more emphasis on the naval combat than its predecessor. So, here we have Assassin's Creed 4, my second favorite installment of the series. Black Flag was still unable to top Assassin's Creed 2's story, but this gameplay ex far exceeds any previous installment of the franchise. I really like the pirate theme they went for here, since it really complements its combat system. In the game, our character's name is Edward Kenway, Connor's Welsh grandfather. Edward is a pirate, or as he likes to call himself, a privateer. He has an underlying hatred for the king that England has at the time, as well as the will to succeed in life. In turn, he wants to be an independent sailor, and not someone who works for the king. I'm not going to say too much about the story, but I will say it is much better than Assassin's Creed 3's was. There's lots of things to do in the game, including assassination contracts, raiding ships, exploring the sea and its islands, and much more. You can even customize Edward's weapons and his robes, which is really cool. Like, look at these pirate robes I bought for him. Look pretty cool, huh? You can also buy things for your ship, like sails, cannons, and hull armor. Another thing I really liked is the map system. On the PlayStation 4, you just press the touchpad, and it will bring you to the map. I'm not so sure about other consoles, but I assume on the PlayStation 3, it's the select button. On the map, you can highlight whichever area you want to go to, and it will set a marker of it so you know which direction to head. There's also a fast travel option for areas you've already discovered, and it makes traveling from one place to another a lot easier. The game itself has fairly good controls, and they've remained pretty much the same for the whole series. But if there's one problem that I can't get over in parkour when you want to jump to a ledge across from you, sometimes you'll just jump off somewhere to the right. This has really annoyed me for the entire series, so if Ubisoft could fix this in the next installment, that would be great. Right now, I'm about halfway through the game. I really like the story so far, and Edward is definitely one of my favorite characters. If you're looking for an action-packed pirate adventure to hold you off till the next award-winning industry changer, you should check this one out. I give it a 4.3 out of 5. Thank you for watching, I'm the Crazy Einstein, and that's my review of Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag.